Senator Bernie Sanders said Biden, who kicked off his reelection campaign last week, could win in a landslide in 2024, given the current political uh, backdrop of a major political party, the Republican Party, where many of the leadership doesn't even believe in democracy. Sanders stressed that he thinks Biden is the clear choice for voters. And if Democrats and the president get stronger on working class issues and take on the greed of the insurance companies, working class, he believes Biden's going to win in a landslide. Sanders waved off concerns about Biden's age and stressed that what voters have to look at is what does the candidate stand for? Which side are they on? Jet, when you hear a story like this, do you agree with Bernie Sanders that Biden could win in a landslide? I do. I do think he could win. I think people need, need to be prepared for that. Um, and I did. I said this last time. In fact, we had a, a, a debate in my house. Uh, my parents are you know, different degrees of conservative, but they were like, oh, there's no way. There's no way Biden's going to win. I said, he's going to win. Mark my words, he is going to win. And he did. And I think people need to be prepared because corporate media wants Biden to win. And by the way, that includes... Fox News. I, they want Biden yep. to win. They they do better when they're going against Biden. They, that that is their business model. That's how it works. Um, corporate media wants Biden to win. Hollywood wants Biden to win. The, the entertainment business at large wants Biden to win. The system wants Biden to win. Um, Biden has a lot of very powerful people in his corner. I think when you couple that with the fact that the Republican base is so split right now between DeSantis and Trump, as we talked about before, I think there are weaknesses, big weaknesses in both of those candidates. Um, and I I think you have obstacles like young female single voters. They're not voting Republican. It's not happening. They're looking for big daddy government to be what, you know, they're <laughs> missing male head of household used to be. I know I'll get heat for that, but it's true. And you have a, a growing segment of the population that wants something for nothing. They want something for nothing. And you have a lot of people in this country now that are deeply compliant, that prefer for the government to tell them what to do for, than for them to figure out how to do it themselves. Do you have freedom lovers? Yes. Do you have increasing number of people who aren't that way? Yes. So do I think Joe Biden could win a landslide? Yes. I think that's a sad reality that people should start to wrap their heads around. And I do believe, by the way, the bigger fight and the more worthwhile fight is in local politics, is in community politics. Go find, set yourself up somewhere, city, state, that you feel supports and protects the values that you believe in. And those are the votes that matter more than these national elections. So I, I would not be surprised. So are you, are, you, are you saying you may run for something? Is that kind <laughs> can of you like, imagine me running for I would, something? I would I vote. I can. I would can vote. You imagine I would vote. I, I, I actually can. You, you'd have my vote. <laughs> Tom, thoughts on this? Uh, Tom's going to be my running mate. You're going to be the business side of things. By the way, that would be oh actually my God. very <laughs> <That's> interesting. <insane. laughs> Can you imagine? Me and Tom, that could be really So, Jed, what are you going to do with the economy? Tom? <laughs> Tom. Tom. <laughs> and Tom, Tom, you'd have to do the bill. you have to be Bill Clinton. I love you it. you have to talk as Bill I Clinton for the whole time. I think I we got it. a plan for the economy. <laughs> <laughs> and honey, honey here is going to lead this country in ways that you don't understand. <laughs> I would vote. You guys got my vote. Hang on, hang on a second. Tall crown and water. Remember with the lime thing. <laughs> the um, so what I think is going on here is Judge Wright. You know, if this is misplayed by the GOP, this could be a Biden land side, but that's not going to be a Biden land side by decision. It'll be by default. Here's what I mean by that. If the Republicans don't put together a compelling case and a compelling candidate served up in the right way, then it's going to look confusing. And if it's a bloodbath in the primaries and everything kind of goes haywire, then there's nothing for the voter to really latch on to. Then you'll have a Biden landslide by default, meaning there's nothing for there's nothing to move that 10, 12 percent of the independent voter in the middle, which is what the election, all national elections now hinge on. So I think it could happen, but they've got to get their act together now and make a compelling case on the candidates and not overpackage candidates and let them be themselves. Because I think there's a candidate in there the voters are going to love and they're going to see the contrast and they're going to want a difference and it's going to be stark. But if that gets fumbled, then you'll get a you'll get a landslide by default, not because they love it, but just by default because the 10 percent, 12 percent of the independent the middle aren't going to move. But just it blows my mind, though, that that independent. And then 10, 15, 12 percent cannot just look at what the hell's going on. Nothing is going right. I don't care how you see it, where you left or right. How, how, like, is, do you think, Jed, that the uh, their whole abortion stance the, the, that can sway? 
the election one way or the other? Well, I think, again, you have those like young female. It's a very important voting block. People mm-hmm. always underestimate that young single woman. Mm-hmm. That's who hears these the wokeness, who hears the platitudes. Biden talks in these like ridiculous platitudes like he's promising you the sun, the moon and the stars. Who, who's receptive to that? You have to be an emotional voter to be receptive to that. You have to be willing to be the exact opposite of what Tom was describing. Tom was asking before, well, do you think that, you know, voters are going to be more practical, that they're going to look at the economy and they're going to be able to get past character? No. The emotional voters looking at, oh, that was a mean tweet. I can't vote for him. I'd rather vote for this guy over here who told me that there's leprechauns and rainbows. Yeah. You know, I, I want that. That yeah. makes me feel good about mm-hmm. myself. It's about yeah. feelings, not about actually benefiting from policies. Yeah. What's uh, Vinny? What's this video? What, what is this? So th- this is this is Trump. <laughs> Listen, I laughed. So as a comedian, this is he's up there and he's talking about how Joe Biden talks and doesn't know where the <laughs> hell he is. I saw the one where they split it, where you actually saw the video of Biden. But this is one of the funniest. This is Trump is back and he's in full force and he's talking crap. Go ahead, Rob. Rob you got to show this. Uh, do you think at least one time he'd get up and say, "I'm running for president"? <laughs> uh, where, where am I going? Where the hell am I going? <laughs> I want to get out. Oh. Look, am I here? No, over there, over there. <laughs> Dude, Jed, that's the it. That's yeah. the it factor. Yeah. He is talking shit. <laughs> Bro. A prepackaged video <laughs> that took supposedly seven takes to get it right. <laughs> if right is what you want to call it. Oh, man. In it, he says he's running because Trump and MAGA pose a threat to democracy. Can you believe it? Dude, and, and, and like, come on, Pat. That's what Don't she you means. Miss you that? can't teach that. Je- you can't Je- teach that. He's an entertainer. He did that off the cuff. He didn't yeah. plan that. He just, yeah. in his Trump world, said, you know what? He is I'm going to go for it. it. Are you more likely, you know, and to the people watching at home right now, are you more likely to watch a debate if Trump is in it or if Trump is out? Let's say, you know, half the debates have Trump in and half the debates have Trump. I guarantee you the viewership takes a nosedive just because people find this so entertaining. It it's is. like watching a television show unfold yeah. and he's totally unrehearsed. I love you it. You can't teach it. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.